babes, here I am in my room where I literally spent all my time. I just put some makeup on to vlog. Things have been weird lately. I'm feeling very alone and sad and isolated. And so this video is about getting out of that because I like to film. I do like to film. I feel guilty about it sometimes because it's like, oh, I should be making better use of my time or something, but um, I really do like to video edit. I just filmed an Instagram reel and I'm going to add some little text overlays to that. I'm going to edit that and I'm going to clean up my room. I design text overlay type things in Illustrator because I edit on my iPad. I had a video on my iPad and the editing for text is just like not great. We're not going for perfect. We're just going for throw this freaking video up. If you make two slides and the things slightly move in them and you play them one after the other it'll look like it animates. I filmed this with a um, voiceover but I think that I want to have some music underneath that as well just something kind of vibey so I'm looking at thematic which is free copyright free music and you just have to credit the artist in the caption so you can't use it for ads and you can only use it on like Instagram, YouTube and something else. I don't think you can use it on Facebook. Yeah. It's like, you know, a little buggy. It's okay, but it's free, so beggars can't be choosers. Hey y'all, just a little fit check for what I wore today. My chore coat is from Tradlands. I'm wearing a little crop. I've been shooting some items for Story. Story is the app that I work for. Story is the app that I work for, and we're a digital wardrobe management app. So I'm just like digitizing some of my items. I got this drop cloth from my, my work at Tradlands. I actually need to check with them. I want to like pay them back because I'm obviously using it for other things. It's been like such a big come up to have for all like the flat lays and stuff I need to shoot. It's great, but I just need to clean up this little mess that I made. <laughs> get all snuggly and watch some ASMR and then tomorrow's the weekend and I get to sleep in and not do a super early meditation just a kind of early meditation to go to my aunt and uncle's just for like some drinks and some snacks and just to hang out because we're all fully vaxxed and we haven't seen them in a long time. They came over like a few times in the summer just to sit outside and stuff but now we can all hang out. This is what I'm wearing. Just a really simple look. I just didn't feel like trying too hard to be fashionable today so I have on a black t-shirt. This gorgeous oversized cardigan that I got from Poshmark. Yeah, gonna head out. Hello from the art studio. How I look with wet hair? Not my favorite, but I want to paint and I'm not gonna wait for it to dry because then the moment will have passed. I started an ASMR video where I was like prepping the canvas, um, but right now like painting for a video where you're kind of watching the whole thing is like a little bit too much pressure so you'll just see a little bit of me painting today. What I've done is I went back through my old photos. So I have like so many landscape photos that are so beautiful that like I'm not deleting because I want to paint them someday and then I never paint them so we're working our way through them. Um, so this is what I've selected to paint. I want my focuses to be my painting, my ASMR channel, and this main YouTube channel. Um, because I just have like so many hobbies and it's really hard to give enough love and attention to all of those um, so I'm trying to just kind of pick the main ones that I want to be the focus of this cycle of life 
and we'll go from there. So I'm back. gonna pick up call too many times. Text back saying sorry I'm drunk. Why do I even try? Argue in circles for hours. Cause what else can we do? When it started, but now it's overgrown And we're not back trying to fix this And still end up alone But I'll keep trying and trying Till it splits me in two Sometimes I just squeeze the thing directly under the brush And sometimes I squirt it out I feel like I am more economical if I just squeeze it under the brush though. How it's going so far I did this and then I realized that what I like about the original photo is that it has kind of these two slopes that bring the eye to this little lake in the middle, but the little mountains in the back are a lot tinier than the slopes. You can see from mine that I've made them about the same size as the slopes, so what I need to do is after it dries, go over it with some white paint, then some blue paint make the mountains a little bit tinier in the center. Something's just looking off about it and that's what it is. Won't believe our love is already dead Already disappears Forget it, I really don't know This is what we've got so far. As you can see, I corrected the issue I was having with the mountains, um, I started working on the tree line, I added in the lake, technically I probably should have like done the tree line here and then added it in, but I felt excited to add the lake and there are no rules, you can do whatever you want, I feel like when I paint it's a mixture of being like, oh I know that this part should go down first and also me being like, I'm really excited to paint this part so I'm gonna start working on that, even though I know that should come later. Um, yeah, you can do whatever you want. I'm hanging out with some of my internet friends in real life, um, Kayla and Senna. We're going downtown, we're gonna go to Big Star, um, which I think is like a Mexican restaurant, and we're gonna do some thrifting, obviously. This is the fit. I've got my Tradlands Glen long shorts on, this little crop sweater that I, um, thrifted, and I also added, like, my own embroidery to it on the front and on the back, and then my Runster hikes and I got a little checkered backpack. I'm not sure whether I'll need this. I'm just bringing it just on the off chance. It's a little too cold for my fit. I'm excited. I've never met these gals in person, um, but we all like live around here and are into sustainable fashion on Instagram, do that whole thing. So it'll be nice to meet some like-minded folks. Hi, can I please have a matcha latte with coconut milk? Medium, or sorry, grande. Hello, so it's actually a few days later, but I just wanted to show you what I got from our thrift and vintage expedition. It was so nice meeting Kayla and Senna. Um, it really, filled up my soul. <laughs> so we went to the Buffalo Exchange in Wicker Park and I found these pants. They are so cute. They're by the brand Current Air, which I couldn't tell from the tag. Like it looks like it's kind of a fast fashion brand and I think they kind of are but we actually went to a store that sold like new um nice expensive clothes after we went to Buffalo Exchange and they carried this brand so I was like okay it was like not a bad purchase um, and they're just like cropped. I was on the hunt for pants, jeans specifically, but these fit me really nicely and I like that they have that like paper bag cinched waist so I'm happy with those. I wore these yesterday and they were really comfy. And then we went to a really beautiful vintage store that was owned by this old man um, and I found this teal dress from the 1950s. It's a little big on me but I have an awesome tailor so I'm just going to take it to her um, and have her bring it in. I go to my tailor like once a week. I'm constantly just like picking something up and also bringing something new. So make friends with your tailor. So it's just really simple, um, but I love that it was from the 50s. And it's just like a really 
pretty dress to just throw on. I feel like I have a lot of dresses but they're all a little fussy to wear and so this seemed like it would just be comfortable and easy. I've been taking in a lot of clothes lately and I need to chill so I just like feel like I don't want to buy anything anymore. Don't be like me. Don't buy stuff. You don't need it. I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here. I'm really excited to edit this vlog and get it out there, get back to vlogging, get back to filming and editing. And I hope you have a really lovely day. Thanks for sharing your time with me. Bye.